Hello everyone, welcome back to Golden Dragon Games. I'm your host, Rocky. Today is episode 5 of my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play series. In the last episode, we were travelling through Petalburg Woods. Unfortunately, around this area, we ran into a Team Aqua Grunt who was looking for some trouble. So, we battled said Team Aqua Grunt and also rescued a researcher who gave us the XP share item so we can equally distribute XP after a Pokemon battle to all members of our Pokemon team. Anyway, in today's episode, we are continuing going through Petalburg Woods onto Route 104, and then we'll be heading to Rustbro City, collecting one or two items, also stocking up on some supplies at the Pokemart, and then we will be ending off the episode by battling the Rustbro City Gym, being the first gym which I am very excited about today. And this is our first wild Pokemon encounter for the video. Who is it? It's a Zigzagoon. Is that actually how you pronounce it? Because, like, I know that um, there's some Pokemon's names that I definitely mispronounce. Like, I can't think of any Pokemon off the top of my head at the moment, but there are a couple of Pokemon's names that I can't pronounce. Which is strange, because I've been playing Pokemon since Generation 1. Mind you, there are over... What is it now? 810 Pokemon or something? So, yeah. Oh. Also, this is the first time I've recorded um, this Let's Play series in a while. So, if the audio of the gameplay or my voice um, is a little bit too loud, apologies. Um, I might try and see what I can do in editing with regards to audio mixing or a bit of audio changing, but um, hopefully the audio isn't too loud. But anyway, I believe, yes, this is our first Pokemon trainer battle for the video. So, um, the day I'm recording this on is Sunday the 18th, and the reason why I mention that is because yesterday, Saturday the 17th of March was uh, St. Patrick's Day, so a late happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. Now, which Pokemon are we fighting? It's a... Uh... Now, this is a Pokemon's name, but I can never remember how to pronounce. Is it... Is it Ninkada? That's at least how I pronounce it, but I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly. Uh... Surprisingly, Iron Head did not one-shot it. Never mind. Let's try Zen he Head Butt. Yep, and that's the Pokemon battle over. Okay. And now let's continue through Petalburg Woods. Oh wait, that's the exit. But before we leave, let's pick up this hidden item, which is a... Now this is an item's name that I can never pronounce, so I'm not even going to bother trying. But all I know is I've never tried using one of those items in a Pokemon game before. Oh, also, see this bush right here? We'll be coming back to that probably in the next episode, but not today's episode. Oh. This is Petalburg Recon Team checking in. I'm afraid I have to begin with an apology, Mr. Matt. It's not good news. The mission is a no-go. A little something cropped up and got in the way. Roger that. Got it. Will do. I'll continue investigating that energy we detected. Phew. But that kid sure has some promise as a trainer, I'd say. And in that cutscene right there, that was the Team Aqua Grunt I was talking about that appeared towards the end of the last episode. And also, who is this Matt person she was talking to? I guess it must be one of the higher ranking uh, people in Team Aqua, I guess. I guess we just have to wait and find out. But anyway, 
we're going to actually stop off here because here we have I believe this is the first time no actually it's not the first time I don't think in this let's play I can't really remember there's such a big time gap between when I record and upload videos unfortunately but anyway um let's pick the um berries off these trees because they may come in handy but I don't think I've ever used berries in a Pokemon game apart from when I was um playing through my copy of Pokemon Sun possibly I think I'm not 100% sure. Also, another reason why we're here is because we can get a new item from... Uh, which person is it? It's this person, I think. Yes, this is the item I was talking about. It's the Whelm Pail. I'll just call it a watering can. That will be much easier, actually, for myself. Because I am dyslexic, I can find it difficult to read and also pronounce words. And also, Whelm Pail is slight bit of a tongue twister for me. Also, I would have read um, what that person was saying, but I sort of, like, when we actually went to talk to her, I wasn't 100% sure if she was the person that gives you the um, watering can whelm pail item. Oh, also, there's a, another hidden item behind the flower store, and it's an X-Attack. Now, that is definitely an item I don't think I ever used while playing through a Pokemon game. But anyway, I'm just going to demonstrate the uh, watering can here. So let's plant, uh, let's plant an orange berry, as I've got a couple of those. And now if we click A again, the soil is dry, would you like to water it? Yes. Okay, and that is, um, well, the watering can, basically. And, yeah, this is our next battle. I think we have, after this battle, I think there's about two or three battles, and then we'll actually be in Rustboro City. Also, apologies for not talking much, but um, I have not got the hand of recording um, and playing the video game at the same time and also trying to keep up a sort of constant conversation. Um, I know this sounds boring but um, the weather is a bit frightful um, here in the UK today. It's actually snowed overnight surprisingly which I was not expecting because um, I think it was one or two weeks ago, the UK had some really bad snow, along with a bit of a storm, which was, like, a lot of snow, and it's not as bad as last time, but there's still quite a lot of snow, and it is a little bit cold, well actually it's not, because um, I got heating on in the house, luckily, which is surprising, because normally, like, I'm always saying this to all my family members, don't turn the heating on, please. And I always say it to my mother, like, please, mum, don't turn the heating on, because I hate the heat. I honestly hate heat. And, like, honestly, I don't like, you know, sort of hot places like, say, Spain. I have actually been near Spain, uh... Well, not specifically Spain, but Mallorca once for a holiday. And, my word, I hated the heat. And, actually, I prefer it being cold. And also, I can't believe I'm going to fit this reference in, but 
The cold never bothered me anyway. Yep, I decided to randomly throw in a Disney Frozen reference, but I had to because, you know, the weather is snow outside, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh... Actually, I know what I wanted to talk about. Who has seen the latest Avengers Infinity War trailer? Because it looks brilliant. And I really can't wait for that movie. But first of all, I'm trying to catch up on some past Marvel movies that I've missed. First of all, I missed Captain America Free Civil War. So I bought that on iTunes and watched it, like, I think three weeks ago. And I thought it was a great movie. I haven't had a chance to see Black Panther yet, but I've heard that's meant to be really good. I haven't seen, um, what was it? Guardians of the Galaxy 2. That was last year, and I never got the chance to saw it, really. So, that's another movie I have to catch up on. Also, I have to catch up on 4 Free Ragnarok, which I've heard is absolutely fantastic. So, definitely got to watch those movies before I watch Infinity War. Wait a minute. I... This is what I mean, try to keep up a conversation while also concentrating on playing the game and also recording it because I just used the grass move absorbers you just saw and then Shroomish just used it straight after. So, uh... <coughs> and that was a bit ridiculous because that was not very effective or whatsoever. But I switched out from the Shiny Beldum to Trico just because um, Shiny Beldum's level 11, Trico's only level 10. And I sort of like to give each member of our Pokemon team equal screen time, if at all possible. Mind you, at the moment it's quite easy because we only have two team members. Also, um, for those of you who are new to this Let's Play, if you're wondering... How on earth has he got a shiny Beldum? Has he, like, hacked the game or something? No, I haven't hacked or cheated the game in any shape, form, whatsoever. Um, basically, I bought the game the same time I bought my copy of Omega Ruby. And I started this game, or rather started this Let's Play of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire three years ago. So, and... A mystery gift that came out around the same time the release of um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire was a shiny Beldum mystery gift so I decided to have that and have it as one of the Pokemon on our team so yeah just um, a quick little explanation about the whole having a shiny Pokemon uh, on the team such early on during the game um, for those of you who are new to this Let's Play, like I just said. Uh, anyway, what else was I going to say? As we were on the subject of Marvel and Marvel Studios is owned by Disney. Um, Solo, a Star Wars story. I wanted to actually give my opinions and thoughts on that movie. And actually, before I do, we have our first double battle. So anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, my opinions on Solo was Star Wars Story. Now, I thought the first Star Wars spin-off movie, Rogue One, was really great. And I really did like that movie, apart from the ending, which I'm not going to say because... Um, spoilers, I guess, for a movie that came out, what, two years ago now, I think? I can't remember, actually, when Rogue One came out. Actually, no. Rogue One came out in 2016 because Force Awakens was 2015. 2017 was The Last Jedi. This year's Solo A Star Wars Story. And then next year should be Episode 9, I think. Yeah, it's definitely Episode 9 next year, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, yeah. Solo A Star Wars Story. I think it looks good. But I'm sort of not 100% certain on it. Because um, I don't really know why. Like, it looks good. And, you know, it looks 
and feels like a Star Wars movie, but I'm not 100% certain how it's going to actually turn out after all. I, I can't remember completely, but I think a, the original directors on it were the guys who directed the Lego movie, and then they left the project slash got fired, and then they brought a new direct in, and they reshot about, I believe, 90% of the movie or something. I can't really remember. This is just all stuff I've heard. But feel free to correct me in the comment section of this video about that. But yeah, I think Star Wars a solo story, or I really just want to keep calling it the Star Wars Han Solo solo movie rather than Solo, a Star Wars story. But anyway, um, yeah, I think it looks good. I think it will be good, but I'm sort of just going to wait until it comes out to see what it's like. Mind you, I probably won't be able to see it until maybe June, mainly because the day it comes out is the first day of London MCM Comic Con, which... I actually plan on going to this year because the first MCM Comic Con I ever went to was Birmingham MCM Comic Con last year in November where I actually got to meet Veronica Taylor, the voice um, of Ash Ketchum from the original Pokemon anime series and by the way that was like a highlight of 2017 for me meeting Veronica totally cool and she is a really great person um but yeah so I do plan on going to London MCM which I've never been to before but um I've looked it up and it looks good and I can't wait especially as that's where I'm going to be debuting no actually that's not where I'm going to be debuting my Ledger of Zelda um, Breath of the Wild, um, Stealth Armored Link cosplay. I'll be wearing it to a Comic Con before that, I'm pretty sure. Uh, can't remember what I was going to say next. Yeah, so, yeah, unfortunately, I won't be able to see the Star Wars, um, solo movie until, you know, June. You know, actually, another thing about this video is I tried recording it yesterday, but something went wrong, and as soon as I loaded the video footage with the audio into my editing software, which is Adobe Premiere Elements, um, the, like, the audio and the volume, the volume was actually okay for the audio, but the audio itself, it was like, Growling sounds. It sounded like a Growlithe or Arcanine. Couldn't fix the audio, so I had to scrap the recording. So I'm actually re-recording it today. But I must say, I think this record is going much better um, than yesterday. Because basically, the video ended up being about 50 minutes by the time I finished recording yesterday. But... Um, Today, at the moment, I've only been recording for 19 minutes, which is quite surprising, which I was not expecting. Mind you, something I do remember from playing um, Omega Ruby is that this game was sort of easy, actually. I sort of remember when I got to, I think it was the 7th gym, my Pokemon team was quite overpowered, so I wouldn't be surprised, um, depending on how much time and when I can record these episodes for this Let's Play, but, like, you know, this Let's Play might actually fly by now, because I have actually planned every episode from this episode, episode 5, all the way up until the final episode. The only things that I need to do now is finalise episode titles and actually 
you know, record, edit, and upload the videos and finish making thumbnails. But anyway, um, yeah. So, uh, and on a minute, how's Beldum on like half health? Is that from the last Pokemon battle? Because I'm pretty sure the only move these Magikarp know is Splash. I'm pretty sure. Wait a minute. Did you just say Beldum wouldn't obey? That was strange. Wait a minute. Why didn't Beldum attack? Wait a minute. Do we need, like, the first gym badge for Beldum to obey us now or something? Because, like... Or is it just that he's missing? Because I know without um, certain gym badges you can't um, get Pokemon to obey you when you say, like, for them to use Quick Attack or something against the opponent. They have a chance of not listening to you. For instance, unless you have the first gym badge, um, I'm not sure what level of Pokemon will obey you, but um, when you get the first gym badge, I believe it's Pokemon up till level 20 will obey you, but then you need the second gym badge for Pokemon up to level 30 to obey you, and so on and so forth. And Beldum just grew to level 12. I'm pretty sure that we can... I'm pretty sure that Beldum is still listening to us, but it might just be his attacks are missing, and I might just be reading the um, text on the screen incorrectly, because, like I said, I am dyslexic. But also, like I said, it's difficult to try and concentrate on... Um, reading the dialogue text from the game, recording the game, playing the game, and also, like I said, keeping up a constant conversation. And Magikarp, of course, used its signature world-famous move of Splash, which does absolutely nothing. Actually, as we're on the subject of talking about movies today, and we've talked about Star Wars and Marvel, Winnie the Pooh, live-action, re uh, not remake, but a live-action movie of Winnie the Pooh called Christopher Robin, um, starring Ewan McGregor. I think that movie looks quite good, but I have noticed a couple of complaints online by people like, oh, Winnie the Pooh doesn't look like his animated cartoon, you know, self. And for those of you who don't know... The design they've gone for Winnie the Pooh in the Christopher Robin movie, where Christopher Robin's all grown up and has got a job, etc. It's actually the design from the Winnie the Pooh books and not from the animated cartoons Disney has done. So, yeah. But I think it looks like a good movie. And also... Um, of course, Ewan McGregor, a.k.a. Uh, young Obi-Wan Kenobi, I have seen a really funny meme um, of the scene from the, um, you know, the Christopher Robin trailer where basically it's Ewan McGregor turning around and there's Winnie the Pooh and he says, Hello, Pooh Bear, or something like that. And um, Pooh says something like, Hello, Christopher Robin. But um, somebody like, changed it so it's the dialogue from Revenge of the Sith with Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan saying hello there and then Winnie the Pooh with four lightsabers like General Grievous saying General Kenobi and yes that is seriously my best General Grievous impression and also welcome to Rustbro City oh it's our friend slash rival of this game May <clears throat> so, you made it here to Rustbro City too, Rocky. It's really big here, isn't it? Little Root can't even compare. 
Oh, and Rocky, have you heard? There's a Pokemon gym here too. Once I catch a couple more Pokemon, I'll be sure to take it on with my team. See you later. Okay, now we are in Rustbro City. There is a couple of things to do before we go and face the gym. One of those is there should be a hidden item, I believe, to the very right. Oh, yeah, it's right there, literally right there. But we need to go around here, go to the right, and what hidden item do we have? We have an X defense. Again, that's an item that I don't think I've ever used while playing through a Pokemon game. I'm not sure why, but, you know, I don't really tend to use berries and, um, you know, X attacks, X defense items like that. I tend to only use, like, paralyzed heals, potions, you know, that sort of stuff. Uh, what should we buy? Let's buy a couple more Pokeballs because I don't think we have many left and while I'm not trying to catch every Pokemon in the Pokedex, um, I would like to possibly catch a couple of more Pokemon and also will need, um, you know, some more Pokeballs for catching, um, you know, some more wild Pokemon because obviously we only have two Pokemon on our team at the moment and we're going to, of course, be ending this Let's Play with six Pokemon on our team. You know, I don't know why, but this particular NPC here reminds me of Max, who is May's little brother from the Pokemon Advance and um, Battle Frontier anime. I don't know why. I'm not sure if that's like an Easter egg they put in or something or whatever. But anyway... We're here in this particular house because we need to talk to this guy to get a new Pokemon move. That determined expression, that limber way you move. And your well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait. Don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure that you will be capable of putting this HM to good use. No need to be modest or shy. Go on, take it. HM1, cut. Any Pokemon that learnt cut can chop down prickly trees if the trainer has earned the stone badge. HM's like, this can be used outside of Battle 2 with the right badges. Okay, so basically, HM01, of course, when we teach it to a Pokemon, for those of you who have played many Pokemon games, you'll know HM01, you know, it will give us the ability to chop down these types of trees um, to get to hidden items, but obviously we don't have the first badge of the game yet. But anyway... It's nearly time to actually battle our first gym. But before we do, let's just quickly heal our Pokemon. You know, I'm happy to be Let's Playing this game again because even though it's taken a really long time to... Um, get this Let's Play actually properly started. Um, I liked Omega Ruby, even though I thought it was a bit easy, but Generation 3 is probably one of my favourite generations of all the Pokemon games, and it's just really cool to play it again. Not to mention, um, the Generation 3 remakes, um, tie in to something that happened actually in my life. Basically, not long after these games were released, um, I went to my first ever Comic Con convention, Cardiff Film and Comic Con, um, back in November 2014 was my first Comic Con, but I've been to gaming conventions 
basically been the Insomnia conventions before that, but this was my first, you know, Comic Con convention. But anyway, you know, after going to a Comic Con, um, the next year, I decided to actually cosplay for the first ever time in March 2015, and I actually cosplayed as the main character that we're playing in as right now um from omega ruby and alpha sapphire so yeah just um a little sort of fact anyway <clears throat> we're here in the first gym hello you must be a new challenger i'm roxanne the rustbro city G pokemon gym leader i became a gym leader so that i may apply in battle all that I've learned at the Pokemon Trainers School. If you defeat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll present you with a gym badge as proof of your strength as a trainer. Please take up the challenge. I look forward to seeing you as a challenger. Until then, farewell. Okay, that is Roxanne, our first gym leader. And, like I said, we will be battling the first Pokemon Gym in this video. But before we actually start battling all the trainers and also uh, battle the Gym Leader, I just wanted to quickly point out, you probably already noticed, but you can see in the background, like, there's giant statues of um, a Kabuto, and then there's a Dragonite, and then there's also... The one on the very right, I've forgotten its name, but it's a Pokemon that was introduced in Generation 3, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, let's quickly talk to this guy and then we'll obviously get on with completing this first gym. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can sure give you winning advice. That settles it, then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers, and that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader here, is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. The Rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand Water-type and Grass-type moves. Luckily, we got a Grass-type starter, being Trico, of course. <sighs> Excuse me, but I have got a bit of a cold. <sighs> uh, anyway. Come see me afterwards. If you beat the gym leader. What do you mean, if we beat the gym leader? Of course we're going to beat the gym leader. Okay. Now we've talked to that guy. Um, let's start battling all the trainers in this gym. Oh, also, I know I could have, like, avoided that trainer. So we could have just got one step closer to, um, you know, the gym leader. But with Pokemon trainers in gyms. If you don't battle them before you battle the leader of a Pokemon Gym and, you know, collect the badge from that Pokemon Gym, you won't be able... Well, you can come back to the gyms, but you won't be able to, like, re-battle the gym lead, obviously, but you won't also be able to battle the trainers inside a gym. So, I probably advise to always battle all the trainers before the gym leader, but that's sort of just what I've always done. And it was super effective and critical hit, but of course that Geodude has the ability Sturdy, which I always forget what that ability actually does. Mind you, I'm not very knowledgeable about um, different Pokemon abilities and what different Pokemon abilities do, along with um, you know, different natures of Pokemon and stuff like that, um, but, yeah, anyway, let's bring out Trico for this next battle. Like I said, I want to give, um, the Pokemon equal screen time, 
uh, for the Pokemon who are permanent members of our team. Okay, uh, well, that guy at the entrance to Pokemon Gym did say grass moves are super effective against rock. So, let's just use the move Absorb, and yes, that Geodude didn't have the ability Sturdy, so it just went down in one hit. Now it is time to battle the next train of this gym. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. Also, something I wanted to mention, with this um, Let's Play, when it comes to episode time length, because um, I know there's probably going to be new people, you know, watching this video right now. Um, for those of you who saw my channel update video and have been subscribed to the channel for a while, you'll already know that I said this in my last channel update video, but basically with my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire uh, Let's Play episodes, there'd be between like sort of a minimum of 40 minutes and a maximum of 50 minutes. Well, I say like a minimum of 40 minutes, but um, one or two episodes of this Let's Play, I believe might be a bit shorter. I'm not 100% sure because while I've planned the rest of this Let's Play, I have not recorded, obviously, every episode of this Let's Play. But I'm hoping that, because this Let's Play has been going on for three, four years now, um, yeah, this Let's Play would have been done a lot sooner if it wasn't for the fact that when I started this Let's Play, um, I was still in full-time education, unfortunately, so I didn't really have time. But now I'm not in full-time education, and um, I started up the series again from where we left off um, last year. Um, you know, hopefully this Let's Play will be finished before the end of May, and then um, I have actually already decided the next Let's Play, but I'm, of course, not going to say anything. Um, about what the next Let's Play is until this first one is finished. But while we're still playing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, let's just enjoy the journey. Because, like I said, I really like Gen 3. I think the remakes are good slash great. But um, still, one of my only criticisms is a little bit too easy. Or, as IGN would say... Too much water. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> I'll make you feel the power of the number two trainer at this school. Wait a minute. This is a Pokemon trainer school? I thought it was a museum. And a Pokemon gym, personally. But never mind. Okay, so we are battling against another Geodude. I'm hoping this one doesn't have sturdy for its ability and we can just take it down in one shot. No, nope, it's gonna get a rock throw at us. Uh, Iron Head. Okay, so I wasn't seeing things earlier. It definitely said Beldum wouldn't obey. I knew it. I knew I wasn't just imagining things or like, um, not reading the dialogue properly or being distracted. I knew it. Hopefully, um, Beldum can at least listen to us until we've, you know, completed this gym. Because by the time we've completed this gym, the first badge will give us the ability um, to let Pokemon up until level 20, you know, obey us um, when we're in a Pokemon battle. And Trico grew to level 13. 
and Trico wants to learn Mega Drain, which I'm pretty sure is a better version of them um, Absorb. Uh, what did it say for Mega Drain? Okay. Uh, absorb. Oh, wait a minute. I <coughs> changed it to a different menu. Okay, so this has 40 power, 100% accuracy. Absorb has 20 power and 100% accuracy. Um, I'll get rid of Absorb for Mega Drain. Also, I'm pretty sure there's a move called Giga Drain, if I'm not mistaken, because I'm pretty sure my Venusaur in my copy of Pokemon Y knew Mega Drain. No, sorry, not Mega Drain. I mean Giga Drain, which is like an even more better version of Mega Drain. I'm pretty sure that's a move that exists. I'm not sure if it exists in this game, but I'm pretty sure it's a Pokemon move that exists. But anyway. Also, forgive me for sort of sliffling there, but like I said earlier, when I sneezed, I do have a bit of a cold. But anyway. It's time for the battle with the first gym leader. And also, before we battle the gym leader, I'm just going to have to put another reference into something else. Not Disney's Frozen, but from you go. It's time to ju 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 Just as I expected. I knew you and your Pokemon would be able to get this far. Now, would you kindly demonstrate how you battle with your Pokemon? You are challenged by Leader Roxanne. Leader Roxanne sends out Geodude. Okay, uh, let's use Zen Headbutt, because I'm pretty sure it's super effective. No? I'm pretty sure that Steel-type moves are effective against, um, Rock-types. And, of course, because I've been stumbling over my words, um, being slow on reading the dialogue and probably making this video longer than it needs to be, I did not notice Beldum is only on 7 HP. Uh, let's swap out for Trico for now and we'll give um, Beldum a potion to bring its HP back up to um, full after we've defeated Geodude. Okay, let's try Mega Drain. Because, of course, this will give Trico back some of his health? Yeah, just a bit. But still, it will also, of course, defeat Geodude. Okay, it's Nose Pass next. Uh, let's just keep battling with Trico, actually. Actually, no, I want to... Um, heal Beldum at least, just in case, because that Geodude, of course, um, nearly defeated Beldum, and Trico is looking to be on low health now, but I would like to at least try Mega Drain. Okay, that was super effective. Well, actually, of course, it was super effective because it was Grass-type move. <laughs> Okay, Trico is on for health. Uh, switch out to Beldum now. Tackle? Really? Nose pass, that was really a rubbish move to use against Beldum. Anyway, let's use Iron Head. And, okay, did Beldum miss that attack, or was it just not obeying us again? Okay. We won! 
We have won our first gym battle. And this video is only 44, almost 45 minutes. <laughs> I was hoping that um, this video wouldn't be so long, but um, never mind. So I lost. It seems that I have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers receive this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. We've got our first gym badge! The stone badge enables Pokemon to use the HM move cut outside the battle. All Pokemon up to level 20, even those you get in trades, will also obey you. And please take this with you too. And we got TM39 Rock Tomb. The move Rock Tomb not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers the target's speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches the move to a Pokemon. You can use a TM as many times as you want to, so please try it out. Well, we haven't actually got any Rock-type Pokemon. I'm pretty sure Beldum and Trico can't actually learn Rock Tomb, so we won't be teaching it to a Pokemon anytime soon. But anyway, now we've defeated the gym, we're going to talk to this guy one last time, and then we're going to finish the video. Wow. What a breathtaking victory. My cheering must have worked. Great. Check your trainer card. The stone badge you got should be recorded on it. In other words, you've climbed the first step on the stairs to the championship. Very promising. Okay. Well... We have gone through the rest of Petalburg Woods, we've gone through Route 104, we've battled a couple of trainers, got HM01 cut, we've defeated the first gym and got our first gym badge being the stone badge, and also, um, as you can probably tell by the um, layout slash um, border around the gameplay that I created, you can probably see... Um, to the right, that the first gym badge has actually appeared on the overlay, while the rest are sort of just silhouettes, because basically every time we get a new gym badge, the silhouettes will be replaced by, um, you know, the proper gym badges, or rather the digitally drawn gym badges I drew, because I actually drew each one of the gym badges from scratch because I wanted um, to make this Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play um, border slash overlay sort of as new, 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 unique as possible um, because I am, you know, an artist and obviously I want to just improve my art skills and also I sort of want to just show off my art skills a little bit. Um, but anyway... This video's almost been 50 minutes and it's time for me to stop tripping over my words, sneezing and rambling on. So, in the next episode we will continue on our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire journey around the Hoenn region, collecting all the gym badges. And I am still wondering who that team Aqua Grunt was talking to and what energy they had detected in the surrounding area. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So, until the next video, feel free to leave a like, favourite, share, comment. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to. Also, all my social media links will be linked in the description of this video. Also, I hope you all have enjoyed today's video. And until next time, remember... Stay golden, stay frosty, and... Pisces!